Welcome to another episode of the Opinionated Podcast. How y'all doing, Opinionated family? You know, see, see, that's why I don't feel comfortable. See, that's why I hate you. No, the only reason is because this is you. This is you. Welcome to another episode of the Opinionated Podcast. Hey, welcome, welcome to, to another episode of the Opinionated Podcast. I'm your host, Kevin Durant. Perfect. There's Dash, aka Dash. We also have in the building Dre and Cool Kev. We're here for it's another not. Sunday for your pleasement. There you go. Is that better? Is that better? Way better. It's way your better. Pleasement. It's way better. Appeasement. There you go. There we go. Oh, okay. Using words. Yeah, I'm trying to get my vocabulary back up. I, you know, it's hard. You you talk to you talk when you talk to niggas that's dumb and you start talking to a lot of dumbass niggas, your vocabulary fucking shrinks. He so. said when you start talking to dumb niggas, you become dumb. Yeah, you be some dumb. <laughs> that ass, so. Don't talk word of advice. Don't talk to dumb niggas. Niggas that vocabulary. You are your is, environment. Yeah, niggas vocabulary is. You know what I'm saying. You know what I mean. And every other. You know what I mean. This and that. This and that. This and that. Whoop de whoop. Whoop de wah. Whoop de squee. Just get away from the niggas. I, just, I don't know. I've always said yeah, I nah, mean, and all that shit. I've always said that. Nah, mean, and no, I nah, mean, but not. Not mean. not mean can't be three words and then you know, yo, not mean. I mean, so you know, I mean, such and, and such and such. And I'm like, what the fuck? Are, what are we talking about? Not means it's a nigga name. Not, not mean. mean. I don't know what not mean. Is. Um, not I don't shit. know, man. It's just we've all got taught that way, I think. But yeah. what a time to be alive! Exactly, man. Everything is at your fingertips. Gaming systems is better. Yeah. <sighs> Movies are way better with the graphics. You can watch movies at home. And porn is at your fingertips. <laughs> Bootlegs. Porn is at your fingertips. Yes, just think about it, man. Think about the time to be alive. Think of your think about it as a think about you as a teenager. You're sitting there playing your Sega Genesis. Got that little hot hedgehog or Dreamcast, but you got that little Little Sonic running across the screen, or that boxing game. You got Buster Douglas boxing that came out. Damn, only thing you can do is move back and forth. That's it. But you think that's the best fucking boxing game in the fucking world? And your homies come in with this fucking purple cassette tape. What the fuck is that? Yo, you got to see this. I just stole it, but I got to bring it back. <laughs> they pop that tape in. And you see this fuzziness come across the screen. The next thing you know, there's an eighties, there's some bad acting, and you see an eighties bush on the screen. I'm talking about the eighties bush. I'm talking about an unshaved vagina. I mean, I mean, <laughs> Wait a minute, your cassettes came in purple? Yeah, he, <laughs> all, he <laughs> always says that there were different colors, but you're the they only was the ones I had. It has that experience. Yeah, I had the rainbow collection. Every no, time you say it, I'm like, nah, they were just regular. Nah, I had a gold. Nah, I had a gold. I found a gold tape. Oh, yeah, wait, and you did. Yeah. But well, okay, how about this? The fucking the 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 title of that shit was very vague. That shit was like it, <laughs> true. <laughs> it was vague. Right. And parents try to hide shit, so they would probably scratch a little shit off of the shit or or or, or whatever. You you looking at it, you you knew something was on this tape that wasn't supposed to be on this tape, but you got a hold of it. Mine said Police Academy Three. <laughs> That's what it said. It said Police Academy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead serious. <laughs> hey, yo, can I tell you? Can I tell you? Can I tell you? Can I tell you real quick? Oh, Police man. Academy was on the tape. Oh, word. So they dubbed over the John. Yeah, you just had the once that once the fucking credits start going down the screen, something else popped up, and it was um yeah, it was my introduction. <laughs> hey man, but like my now, like now. Like now, kids just go lock themselves in their fucking room, pull that phone up. You know what I'm saying? Pull the phone up, turn the volume down, their TV, stream it straight to the TV, and have a whole jack off session, and you wouldn't even know about it. I, I don't. It's want crazy. To. It's crazy. I don't want to think about take, it either. The fact that you could take porn on your phone and then. Just okay. send it to your television to make Wirelessly. it bigger. You got to see the Gucci a little bigger. Steve Jobs is. I like, need this Steve shit Jobs is up D. in. Steve Jobs is in hell. Like yes, you know what I'm saying. Rolling <laughs> like, over in his iPhone casket. 
See, they, see, it's a wonderful time to be alive. If I was a teenager now, all the struggles of watching them squiggly line ass fucking on the on you turn to the Playboy channel and be squiggly lines. You, oh, I seen a titty. I think I seen a vagina. Oh, you, you know what I'm saying? You just if you squint hard enough, you can see something. Yeah, you for squint sure. for sure. It's, you know what I'm saying? I thought it was a trick that you can flip if you if you turn it back fast enough, or or if you unscrew it back enough, it'll come in clear. Like no, it's it's meant to be scrambled. <laughs> yeah, I thought that too. If you just do it real fast, you can see something. And sometimes I, I'm not going to lie. So, um, and, and and we're going to talk about today, but let's let's talk about back in the day. My cousin Jamal, it was clear on his room, in his room, not clear, but like that's where the TV was that we watched. So we would literally go back and go forth. And I would swear to this day that I seen clear nipple or vagina to this day i'm pretty sure that flicking it back and forth worked i'm pretty sure everybody everybody tried that trick you no, flick no. it back i think it worked it did because you flick it back and forth for next times and it'll it go from squiggly and then they'll go to like fuzzy like black and white fuzzy mm -hmm. but the picture coming a little bit better you're like oh, oh don't touch it <laughs> Me growing up and becoming a cable technician at one point in my life, I can tell you none of that shit was true. There's a there's a fucking there's a, a trap, something called a trap on there that you cannot get any of that shit through. But, you know, for our kids, we'll just uh yeah, we'll just put that out. Yeah, but our kids nowadays, I got a trap. That shit is that shit is so accessible. It's on social media. You can just make a Twitter account yeah. and go scroll Twitter. Search for it. Dog, and it, you could go. You think about the lengths Twitter you had to go through. Crazy. But think about it. You remember the sex stores they used to have back in the day? You couldn't go there in that sex store as a teenager and go in there and buy some movies. Mm -mm. These kids nowadays, which is cool for them, they can, can go make a Twitter account. They ask their age. They can put in nineteen eighty four or whatever yeah. their birthday. They don't got to. Um, verify that was social security number or birth certificate. No, that's their age. They say it is. His name's uh Michael Townsend, whatever his yeah, fucking name. They're not putting whatever. their names in. Yeah, they're not putting their names in, and they could just go look and just keep seeing titties at the titties, vaginas at the vaginas, penis, whatever they want to see. Say they, full insertion. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Like. I'm like, God damn, like these kids is exposed to everything at a very, very young and innocent age. Um, do you think that's worse for the future or, or better? Like, do you think oh, we'll get past worse. this and do better? No, it's worse. That, that, that's probably why our last episode we just did when you talk about uh, female rappers being over sexualized. You got to understand probably what was they exposed to? Sex is everywhere. Sex been everywhere, though. It, it's, been it's, in, it's been in our it's shows. Been limited. It's, been in our, yeah. it's been everywhere. Yeah, but it's 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 not as visual limited. as it was as it is today. And how do you monitor something like that? Like I feel like adults, not to say that they had it easier, but it was just something one thing that they didn't have to worry about, or a few things that they didn't have to worry about. Having phones, being able to text people whenever you wanted to, certain type type of conversations as young adults porn being available right then and there how do you monitor that with the children that you have now it's, it's impossible thank dre thank dre and kev think about this remember uh you, you remember having a house phone and you call your little girlfriend and then you hear that click pick up like my grandmother was the only person my mom didn't have a house phone when i lived in echo so i used to come to my grandmother's house and call make the phone calls i don't Run know her phone bill yeah listen <laughs> your mother listen we all fucked some bills up. We was in our 20s and shit, so I can't even fraud on that Especially shit. Especially on, like, phone chats, like the loop or some shit. Yeah, so I would go to my grandma's house, make phone calls, and then I hear my grandmother pick up. She could sit there and, and be quiet if she wants to, but, I mean, you hear her, but you know she picked <laughs> up. Or she could tell you, get the fuck off the phone. That's what I normally heard. I need to use yeah. the phone. You got to call your little friend later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nah, and nah. she didn't even need the phone. She just wanted nah. me to be off it. She had and the right. Had to and you had the PG you the conversation. Bills. Now these motherfuckers got their phone. They go in the room, cell phone, walk down the block. 
and ha- in in video chat in real time and see some shit. As a father, how what do you do? Because you have yeah. teenagers, you have one that's grown. Like, what do you do when it comes to how they use their phones and and monitor what they're doing? I, shit, I even y'all about to say I, you got a teenager too. Yeah, yeah. Kev, you go ahead. A, I'll let you talk. My daughter has an iPhone, and I have parental set advisories all through her phone. So <clears throat> my uh, my <clears throat> my daughter, she can't download an app without me having to accept it on my phone. So she has to, if she wants an app, she I, whatever she presses, it'll the, it'll pop up on my phone. Kylan wants this such and such app. Do you approve? And I have to either approve it or disapprove it. She has uh, time set limits. She has limits on who she could talk to. Um, there's only certain people who can get in contact with her after a certain time. Mm. So her phone is really like limited to doing stuff because we tried to give her the benefit of the doubt and a little freedom. And she took it too far. And as soon as she took it too far, we took her phone originally and she didn't have a phone. And then we switched it up and I was able to put all the parental securities on there. So she really can't do nothing on that phone that I don't know about. I can go into a browser history from my phone. I could do whatever I want. I could control her phone right now. If I want her to have nothing, I could shut her phone completely down and it would just be there for looks. She could just look at what's already on there. She couldn't make no calls. She couldn't text. She couldn't do nothing. This nigga's an evil genius. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, her mom. Her she, mom. Can she video call? Because she do still like she had an. She iPhone. can only FaceTime people that is that she's allowed to contact. Mm-hmm. So. If we give her a certain group of we, she has a certain group of friends that are allowed for her that she's allowed to talk to, but even then, when she has a new friend and she wants their number, they have to get vetted. All friends get vetted, okay? Because the last time she did that, and she was talking to a boy online. I Facetimed him, and he didn't know. He thought it was her picking up, but it wasn't. Yeah, sir. Yeah, oh, nah, crazy. nah. He got oh, wow. scared and hung up immediately. He didn't know, so we ended up calling his mother. But get what I'm saying? Like, look at that shit. Like, girls nowadays, you imagine the luxury you call your little your little girlfriend with an iPhone, and you say, "Yo, take your phone to the bathroom when you go take a shower." Yeah, you know I'm saying, and you get to see everything. Yo, you are free. <laughs> I'm not a free. But that's I'm listening. Can't say some fly shit about how you can control. You know what I'm saying? This nigga said, "Yeah, yeah," but listen. I'm gonna take you the opposite. Think direction. about what you could see. <laughs> you, I'm taking Kevin, you the opposite. Kevin direction. thinking about Kevin. Kevin jealous of the iPhone <laughs> FaceTime Air ever since it came out. Why could we have no shit like that? You know how hey, I could have okay. got when I was a kid. Could I'd have been out there when I was. You know, you know how it would have changed. It'd have been you know, dick Kevin pics everywhere it. from you. Everywhere. Oh, <laughs> man, it would have been the first teenage porn star. <laughs> no, I remember. <laughs> I remember one time I had a girl in the back of the classroom. I ain't gonna say her name because she's my friend and shit on Facebook. But a long time ago, we was in. We was young. We was kids, but I don't talk to her no more like that. We just, hey, I remember you from high school type shit. Now, like, I remember her showing me her titties in the back of the classroom. Beautiful time to be alive. I'm like, what the fuck. Good time to be alive. I wish she had a phone with a camera then, huh? Oh man, if she had a phone with a camera then, <laughs> nigga, I just saw the, I just sold, I just saw the whole gauntlet. You know what I'm saying? I just saw everything. I just saw everything <laughs> and more. You gave her body the gauntlet. The gauntlet. I see that. It wouldn't have been nothing off. But think about that shit. This is the era these kids is living in. This is, is shit they can do. This is <laughs> shit they can do. Your daughter can say, "Hey, I'm going in the bathroom to take a shower. I'm taking my phone." They always take their phone. I always want to listen to music. Mm-hmm. Or it gets quiet, or they got the music playing in the background. And that motherfucker in there giving it, giving her boyfriend the whole a whole shower scene. You have to watch like a hawk, or you have to do what Kev did and like really do up their phone mm-hmm. um until they get some type of other phone and that you don't know about. But yeah, you have to do it up like that, bro. Cause if you don't watch like a hawk, shit, I had to watch my nieces like a hawk when I was um you know what I mean? And, and they, they weren't even 10 yet at the time. That's crazy. And not because they're going to be doing something crazy, but the shit that they searched, my one niece would, would search, try to search boy parts on YouTube because they're kids, kids. Like they weren't older, they were kids. So you think you can find stuff like that on YouTube. But we see search history, we see all that shit. You have to watch them because everything is right there. 
they don't have to think too much. You know what I mean? And, and it's it's right here, bro. They, my kids play this game. They used to play this game called Roblox. Okay. Like that that was a shit. It was like it was like you can play with your friends online. You can make an avatar for yourself, and you you just you know do little silly shit in the game. Yeah, my daughter plays that. My young somebody took that shit. They took that shit to the next level on Roblox. Of, of course, some old perverted grown men probably got on there. Now they can have do sec, perform sexual acts on this game. Like they can get naked on the game that these kids is playing yeah. and perform sexual acts. They're like, hey, let's do this. You know, with some old perverted ass fucking basement dwelling fucking pimple face nerd. You know what I mean? That's that's fucking trying to get off on some teenager because he ain't never had pussy in his life unless he paid for it on TV. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. Um, some some somebody needs to really do a deep dive on what makes guys do stuff like that. Like, what would be the reason for? Because it is a kids game. It's a game period that you share with you know younger kids. Why would you do that unless you have some type of sick mind? To do shit like that, because I don't want to do that. I just want to play the motherfucking game. I just want to play a game because, see, guys in general, we're just going to get up on tangent. Guys in general, that's all we think about is sex 24 7. But guys like me and you and normal human being, normal guys, you can have a, a normal sexual relationship with a woman. You can go out there and have a talk to women and be able to communicate with women that you interested in having sex with them. You can. You can make a relationship out of shit. But then you got perverts who can't talk to women who live in these virtual worlds worlds and don't know how to talk to females and can't get a woman their age because their fucking brain is fucking not even up to par with them. So what they prey on is little innocent kids whose brains are still in development and they say, you know, and kids I think it's a little, deeper, it's a little yeah. deeper than just not being able to get pussy. I think if you want to yeah. fuck a yeah, kid, yeah, you have a you you're sick like something's yeah, wrong. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're. That's why I say you're twisted. You are a twisted individual, but you prey on their 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 fucking prey. They've been they've been they prey. I mean, they're hunters. They've been been preyed on their whole life, so they go prey on something more innocent than them. Yeah, let me let and me I, ask you something. Uh, not yeah. to interrupt you, but I'm I'm very curious. Have you ever watched that show? I don't know if it's to catch a predator, where yeah. the nigga be on. Uh, what was it Chris Hansen? Like Chris the, handsome. the fucking nigga be a uh, curse handsome. They be walk, <laughs> they be online talking to people, and then they go meet the person at their house. Yeah. And then the kid says, "Hold on, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be right back out." And then Chris Hansen walk out. <laughs> Yo, you ever fucking just watch that shit and see how these niggas just react? I'm gonna, them niggas be like, oh. I, <laughs> knew, just, "I knew it was you." It's like oh, I, I was just playing to see, but it all be some weird. It be some black. It be some brothers on there too. But it be a lot of you. You white motherfuckers on there. A lot of you old perverted white motherfuckers on there. Be some brothers. Some brothers get caught on there. Nigga, it was a teacher. It was always. It was but I'm teacher. saying. He roofed that nigga. It was another nigga that was, it was a fat dude. The fat dude had the nerve to be annoyed with Chris Hansen asking him questions. Because he hurt his back. You about to go to jail and nigga really about to hurt your back. Ain't night. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. But it was going to hurt your back at night. That's crazy. I mean, to make a child's game, something that's supposed to be innocent and and try to exploit it sexually is crazy. But we can't act like when Grand Theft Auto made it available uh, for you to go get a prostitute uh, in, the, in the car and drive off. Yeah, oh, oh, it wasn't just for health reasons. Yeah, you might have got your health back up. But, but the shit was crazy. The car rocking. Or or the, or they upgraded it and you took I Shorty to the to the crib. Yeah, you know what I mean. I but you, but there's all types of other things that's involved with the game. Everything in that bitch is illegal. It's for adults. Yeah. You know what I mean. So yeah, when you try to adults. compare Roblox and Grand Theft Auto, you know what I mean. You know, all right, Grand Theft Auto. I'm out here shooting Robin. I'm just doing thug shit. You know what I mean. Criminal shit. When you're on Roblox, you're you're using that. I feel like to to anticipate someone who's younger who doesn't have the right intelligence and try to take advantage of that person. You know what I mean? And that's where shit really gets, you know, fucked Go up, especially for that person. You really, like like you said, you really preying on someone who doesn't 
they either don't know no better and now you're intriguing something in them to want to know or or you're just using certain uh ways to exploit their innocence you know what i mean and taking advantage of them and, and what they don't know and that's why the motherfuckers should get fucked up <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> for real, you know, because if I ever caught anybody doing that to either one of my daughters, coming to find you, I'm yeah, there. I don't care. I, listen, even if you get locked up, there's a good chance I'm gonna try and get locked up and be where you at. Don't fight, don't try to look for them niggas. Them niggas is them niggas is crafty. You you heard about the um, nah. remember how we used, remember remember you used to play gold now back in the day? You kill your homies and all that shit. I'm, I'm gonna bring it all around. And your nigga get mad and want to snatch your control out your head because you caught the nigga with the gold gun. Mm. These niggas nowadays getting killed on Call of Duty and getting pissed off and sending a SWAT team to your crib. Yeah, they call, yeah, they call it swatting. Called, yeah, you don't SWAT. you don't want to fuck with no crazy nigga like that. See, them niggas, them niggas that be making these roll because they're mods. That shit on Roblox is mods. It's something that you got to modify to the game to do it. Yeah. These niggas is these niggas is hackers. Mm -hmm. they, they they don't have a life. These, these niggas beat off and play Roblox and, and and hope that they don't get caught by Chris Hansen. <laughs> you better not, nigga. It's over for your ass. Nah, you go. You gonna be in there fighting another <laughs> booty warrior? Sneaking <laughs> Chris Hansen on Roblox, just looking for predators. Yo, just look at me. <laughs> <laughs> I promise, we I've been doing this for thirty years. We're gonna get one of these motherfuckers. Um, yeah, no, they don't tolerate that in jail, from what I hear. Um, at least Ooh, the stories I heard. Jumping. There's Country. literally like you're in PC, you're in protective custody. Cause like, from what I hear, they no, like check nice. niggas' paperwork. So, like it's it's normal for like, all right, you you white, cool. You could be a part of our white game, but where your paperwork at? And they give you the paperwork. They look at your shit. Or oh, are you in here for a violent crime? You in here for this? But you in PC because if they see your paperwork, you automatically getting killed. Oh, you getting killed, raped? It was a motherfucker. Out. That's what I'm saying. This is it's crazy. But hey, man, I you deserve it. it. I he guess I get it. Deserve it. He got to deserve it, man. I'll be the but, one to make the call, not the one to do the raping. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Y'all, y'all should rape him. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you a part of this, Dre? Nope. nope. <laughs> yeah, we got to out here. What you think we should do with him, boss? Um, I don't maybe, know. Maybe rape him. <laughs> we should rape him, right? Nah, y'all. I'm gonna let y'all go ahead and have this one. You know, oh, they had the last one. Y'all go, you know what I mean? I had Ryan the last one. I had the last one. I had the last one. Y'all got this one, right? <laughs> I, only got 10 more, I only got 10 more years. I can wait. <laughs> Yo, but, I'll get you on the next rape. I'm too tired for the last rape. I got to. That's I gotta get some more electrolytes, but y'all go ahead. That's you walk crazy. in the room. You walk in the room with them niggas like, oh shit, what the fuck? You never seen this boss? Oh yeah, man. It just, you know, I, I'm usually on the other end. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm usually, I'm usually doing this shit. I ain't never seen nobody else do it. He said I'm usually right on the other end. Yeah, I'm about to say what, man? <laughs> Where you want us to take a mess? You anywhere me but here, nigga. Like, don't yeah. be raping yeah. niggas around me. Oh, oh shit, god! Man. Yeah, but, nah, like, I'm, this, yeah, this, crazy. let's get back. Let's get back to gaming because that's that's another thing. Like, like dog. Like now, these like these kids, you can play any game in the world. Mm -hmm. Play with your homies. That's up the block. Like you can, you can literally have a full gaming session with your with your homies, and they don't got to be in your house. With your mother or you get grandparents spazzing that you got all these kids in your house and it's only limited to four controllers because i remember um i remember having um i had a super nintendo and i think i had bought uh like i think i had mad 90 i think it was mad 93 or something like that maybe 94 but it's like yo i got the i had the four-way switch where you can plug up into your uh plug into your super nintendo so it was like all right boom I'm gonna plug my controller, Cali, Raheem, KB. Plug our controllers here on defense. I'm picking this. Y'all do this. Da, 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 da. We all gonna play on the same team together. We all gonna, you know, what I mean, we all gonna play on the same team together. We're gonna pick our position. But the controllers was limited to how many people you can play. Mm -hmm. And you sitting there having a blast of your life. You making too much noise. You know, what I mean, it's all your cousins at your grandmother's house, and they telling y'all oh, y'all gotta get out. Now these niggas can just sit in there by themselves, do the same thing. They headset on. 
their friends is not in the crib with them. <laughs> so your mom ain't mad that the crib's getting fucked up with all your friends. These niggas is up the block just playing. Like, this is Bump even gaming. Yeah, this, this is a wonderful time. This We've talked about wonderful time being alive, but think about oh, I'm saying around the shit, world. Bro. Yeah, around the world. Yeah. Nothing better than call, getting called a nigger from a motherfucker in Germany. Shit. <laughs> it's, yeah, they're around the world. And and the thing is now, it is more, it allows these kids to be a little bit more reckless also yeah. from what, you're ju- what you were just saying, how they can just do, you know, talk to anybody, make friends. My nephew has friends that he's never met in person before. But it also allows them to just say whatever the fuck they want without any consequences. Yeah, yeah they and like then, to, they like to hide behind the screen. You know me, I've yeah. been in the game a lot. So I mean you go through that, especially with competitive games like Call of Duty or uh PUBG and shit like that. Smite should I should I play? You hear that shit more often than not. <clears throat> but you hear it from both sides though. Don't get it twisted. I've seen no. I've seen <laughs> I've seen black motherfuckers go in on white motherfuckers, and I've seen white motherfuckers go in on black motherfuckers. It's more white people who go in on black people, but the racism feels strong because they could hide behind that screen. You know what I'm saying? And once once the game is over, it's like, haha, they think they got the best of you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But these are the same type of motherfuckers who wouldn't dare say shit like that. They cross the street if they see you coming. You know what I mean? They lock their doors when they're in the neighborhood. They, you know what I mean? They look the other way. They don't want no problems. Um, they use that shit to be, to to make yeah. themselves bigger than what but, they are. Uh, but that's that's the culture, and that's going to be the culture for the time moving forward. That's what I'm saying. Where I can say anything. Now I grew up where what I said had consequences. Yeah, mm-hmm. I told y'all I got punched in the face by saying your mom to somebody. <laughs> somebody two piece me. I had to deal with that. In real time, I said, your mom, the nigga came over there, told me a valuable lesson about my mouth. These kids yeah. now can sit here and feel tough on the couch and feel tough after calling you a nigger or after saying fuck you or after saying what well, they can curse at you. And they'll never have to see you and face those consequences by having this technology at their fingertips. We are still from the era where. Watch I'm going to find you, little motherfucker, and I'm going to beat your dad up. I'm going to beat your mom up. I'm gonna make you feel this pain. Yeah, Yo, you think, know what I'm saying. Think about how many with a phone, I guess. Think about, many, yeah, <laughs> think about how many fights Gold and I cost um, had. That's where we're going. Okay. No, no, but Second. think about. I'm Golden just talking Nine about. No, I'm, no, I'm talking. <laughs> but think, I'll take think about those, No, I'm talking about the consequences. Okay. Niggas arguing over the game like you fucking trash. You keep dying. The motherfucker keeps saying you trash. And you ass <laughs> and, and saying disrespectful shit to you. Y'all in the same room with this motherfucker. That's the era we came from. You in the same room with this person playing this multiplayer game and they steady talking shit to you. You steady getting pissed off and you pissed off. Next thing you know, a fucking fight breaks out. See, these kids don't have that consequence just talking that shit off. Just saying reckless shit. That's why they that's why they mouth is so reckless on these games because back then, like, there's only so much shit you're going to say to me while you beating me on this game while you're in my living room. Before a fight breaks out, or I kick you out my fucking crib. Yeah, you can't beat me in real life. I got the highest score in that shit. You remember that? Shit? Yeah. That was nigga's favorite line. Yo, you, you, beat me game, but you, ass, nigga. <laughs> you beat me over here, but you can't beat me for real. Yeah, you can't beat me for real. That was the big <laughs> nigga. We, you gotta remember these kids don't. Yo, another thing I don't see, and uh, here we go. Just an old nigga podcast. Yeah, um, it's cool. You see these kids playing out, and you don't see them playing out in the street because that was the thing. It was like you had the games, but I'd rather play basketball for real. You can't beat me in that. You might beat me in this because you know how to do all the bullshit on the game. You can't beat me out there, nigga. I'm faster than you. I'm stronger than you. I can jump higher than you. You can't beat me in real basketball. So you wore that shit as like a, a, a badge of honor. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, I'm good at sports in real life. Y'all niggas is nerds. Play this shit all you want and get good at that. I'm trying to get a scholarship, <laughs> pussy ass nigga. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's how you was coming at niggas when you getting scraped in it. And, and, uh, now, the, nowadays, <laughs> gaming is a sport. It is. It really is. Nowadays, really gaming is a sport. So what? you try, nigga, try to say that real. Nigga, I'm good in real life. Nigga, get a scholarship. I'm like, nigga, I'm getting a scholarship too. You don't I see? Can I do three hundred thousand dollars a month. <laughs> yeah, you'll know. I created a Grand Theft Auto room. You can't beat me in my room. 
and I'm yeah. getting paid off the shit. You like, oh my bad. Like you can't really yeah. say shit now. It's it's I've never cared so about winning together. Games. I never cared yeah. about winning in games. I'm sorry. I never actually cared. But, uh, well, let's, let's, if let's, I was the best in a game, never. Let's let's push this conversation along. You just talking about playing outside. Like my son, he plays ball now. So inside though, he plays ball out. He played ball outside. So <laughs> I took him. I took him. I took him to. Uh, it was Sickleville Day and shit. So I'm like, I took him out there. He went out there. He had Crocs on, his shorts, and the t-shirt. So I'm like, he go out there. I just pick him up. He's like. I said, "What you do today?" Oh, I was chilling out here today. I was that I was running full. I was killing these jokes. I was killing them. I Were said, they Crocs? in sport? Was the Crocs in sport mode, Kev? You have to. I don't have give to up that fuck. question. You know they got the oh. strap on the back now. Were they in sport Come mode? Come on, bro. Listen, I'm gonna tell Save y'all. The gears. Think about the era we was from. Think it's an old nigga podcast, bro. We used to wear our. We used to have jeans on, but we or or sweats, but we had basketball shorts underneath for the motherfucking underneath for them sweats. And you would I just, you. I, I did. I I'd take my motherfucking pants off and be ready to run with my shoes on. I am the nigga I know come Kev. to the court and take your pants off. Yeah. <laughs> Kev, I would. How many times you played ball in Tim's though? Yo, dog, I did that shit maybe twice, two or three times. That shit, I did that shit. I ain't never run no serious like nigga, yo. I play basketball in cleats. <laughs> I don't give a nah, fuck. You tripping, dog? You ain't playing, dog. <laughs> but you ain't playing in no fucking Crocs. Nigga, you were asking for your ankle to be diminished. No, no, I, see, sport but mode, but though. that's the rule. Yeah, you put them in sport mode, and they ain't had Crocs. Um, so, but the or thing flip-flops. is, that's like playing in flip flops. But the thing is, bro, back in the day, they they fed us this line. I didn't play in low tops. Not me either. I didn't play in low tops because of my ankle, and I would actually twist my ankle. So I was, it was different. I don't know what the fuck these kids are doing and how they're playing basketball now. I mean, I could play Crocs and shoot threes all day too, right? But yeah, think about the nigga that played. Remember the nigga that would play in his jeans with some shorts on. I mean, some some in the jeans with sneakers on. He was like this nigga trash. Like, why? Did, but you, bro, you did that. I'm like this nigga trash. I'm about to bust this nigga ass. This nigga trash. Why trash. you out? Like Sometimes why you out here in jeans? I'm prepared. You know why? Nah. I'm, on my, I'm on my way home, and niggas like, yo, we running the full. Nah. Come on, yo, yo, I got Dre. I got Dre. All right, well, fuck it. I guess I I'm think playing. the difference between the two <laughs> back then and now is back then. We would we would play. We wouldn't really want to play in boots, but we would play in jean shorts. We just happen to have that on. And, oh shit, they balling! It motherfuckers try to be in the fashion, regardless of if they're playing basketball or football or whatever. They want to keep the style of their wear and their appearance during these sporting events. So they're gonna wear these Crocs because oh, these is in style. I'm gonna wear these regardless of the fact or this that, and the third. The only reason we played when we, if we had Tim's on and we played in boots is because damn, I ain't got my kicks here. Fuck it, I'm gonna run in these boots. That's just how he was, you know what I mean? But them motherfuckers, kids oh, nowadays will go to a basketball event with Crocs on and be like, nah, I'm just rocking in this. You know what I mean? That's the that's difference. The dumbest shit. The we get caught off, we got caught off guard and was like, fuck it, I'm gonna just do what I gotta do. I'm, you know what I mean? You felt nice. Yeah, you know, if you was nice, you didn't give a fuck what you had on your like feet. Kev, and Kevin Dre, let me ask you. But if y'all lost, what are you saying? Yo, I'll be right back. I'm going to get my sneakers. I was good in boots, nigga. I was good either uh, way. And then and my then head. and then on some real shit, KK. How many times were we wearing something that we didn't want to wear? Yo, yo, let me get your kicks real quick, bro. Swap. Oh, out. yeah. Let me borrow your sneakers. We was borrowing I niggas I sneakers and balling. Probably a terrible idea. <laughs> but, we, but back then, we were like, nah, I ain't rocking in these boots. I am already took an L. Yo, let me get your kicks real quick. You lost. I'm thinking, Yo, I, you off the court. Let me get them Jones. But I had the luxury. The court was up. I always had the luxury. The court was up, the, like, like yeah. really up the curb, up the street from the um. Up the we had niggas that would come ball with us and had extra sneakers in the trunk. Oh yeah, Just but that's game. the thing. But think about that. Remember, you, you were bringing on and have extra kicks. Like, oh, you need a pair. What size you wear? But remember going to barbecue. Really cool remember going to barbecues and your, and your dad be like, "Yo, it might be some kids out there playing ball." You be like, "Oh yeah, hold up, hold up, dad." And you go in the house real quick. Grab you a set of sneakers and some shorts and just throw them shits in the car. Just yep. to have them shits with you. Hey, this nigga dad came and picked them up. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? Yeah, my dad, <laughs> listen. The fuck? It's cool, man. My dad, my dad <laughs> came through you talking about. Your dad, your well, dad ain't never said, your dad ain't never said we going to your, no. uh, your aunt's crib. 
You ain't never go to your aunt's crib with your pops. I went to my aunt's crib and my dad well, was there. Okay, but you <laughs> knew you was going to a bar. Okay, how about he let, let me, he let let me rephrase it for Dre, who, who, who dad some, wasn't, who some, dad wasn't oh, involved yeah. in his Some life. kids up there playing basketball, son. Make but sure let you me, have your sneakers. The but fuck? yo, but, let, but if you heard it was a barbecue, you wouldn't pack us like, like, yo, I'm just going to bring my shorts. I would have my shorts and my sneakers somewhere. I don't got Tim's on. I got sneakers on too, but I have some shorts just on tuck, like ready to go. And only I remember, bro. I remember time from teams that I played for. I remember having. I remember being at the courts, having somebody run getting my shorts, literally getting dressed on the court. Like nigga, I'm standing out there in my boxes, putting my shorts on, my sneakers on. Like yeah, we about to run. I did that shit plenty of times. Got in trouble a lot by my girl, where my girl was at the time, standing in the court. Like why? Like ain't nobody worried about me stripping up here. I'm about to run. It's chill. Kev just tripped wherever he can. Kev he had his like, girls everywhere. <laughs> Yo, you had to have your girl at the court, <laughs> though. Take his shit to the dump. Just bring no, his you girl for no fucking reason. <laughs> you ain't never had your girl at the courts with you. I remember I had my girl at the court with me one time. This nigga from Philly was trying to get at her. Nigga played me one on one. Fuck it. For your Reasy, girl? You play for your heart. <laughs> nah, I ain't playing for my heart, but he's talk, he talking greasy to me. And. And talk about he can beat me and shit. I'm from it just you know y'all niggas from Philly. I don't know what's up with y'all niggas. Y'all niggas always I'm from Philly. You ever heard me say that? Uh, yeah, but the nigga just the nigga. I'm from Philly. I'm from Philly. I'm, I'm in Jersey at the time. I'm from Philly. I'm like, all right, dog, just nice. Let's just run this shit. Off. Yeah, yeah, did yeah. bust this nigga ass on one on one. Then this nigga wanted to fight. I said it's you cool. See, what's up? Beat me in ball, but you can't beat me in real life. <laughs> oh man, but you gotta understand at the time at the time where I was staying, this is my aunt's crib. I had the whole me, and my cousins had the whole neighborhood on lock. So everybody in the neighborhood, I'm cool with this. Is just some nigga who came from Philly at his cousin's house for the weekend talking greasy. Man, I said, bro, you better chill. It was like it was a bunch of niggas on the other court running. I said, bro, if you swing, that whole court right there is gonna get up. I said, I don't care. I, I didn't care. I knew what was going to happen. I'm like, we're going we gonna to air you the fuck out. Like, you just lost. It's a game. Like, chill. Yeah, I'll fight you. But once I start swinging, them niggas on that court going to come. <laughs> Kev was but, like the leader of the little rascals back then. <laughs> nah, I was leader of the rascals. <laughs> Y'all, if you, see your nigga, if you see your nigga rocking on another court, that's just like me seeing you rocking on another court. And there's like eight of us there. Kev said he had over the there, whole like, neighborhood a... on lock. That's what he said. I'm not going to. Yeah, that wasn't the rules, man. We didn't. I didn't. And, and, even if it's my cousin, if it's a one on one, it's a one on one. All right, I'm going to let him rock. I'm not going to let nobody jump in it. But we're not going to go and like, yes, let's all fuck this guy up. No, my cousin can't handle himself. Nigga. Nah, you can handle yourself. But you from out of town, you come to somebody else's neighborhood. You take your tone. <laughs> No, he was out of line. Yes, and he should know. Whoever his cousin was should have told him the rules. You never go to even if you, even me being from Philadelphia. If I go to another neighborhood in Philadelphia, the general rule is, yo, don't go around there starting trouble. Number one, your cousin live around there. He got to yeah. deal with that after after you're gone. But you you treat niggas with respect unless they disrespect you. Then you go. Then you do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? It's a respect thing. And whoever that was probably gets beat up around it, got beat up around his own way. Bro, he did. He had to because I'm like, yo, bro, I said, I don't care. I said, but once I start, once we start fighting, you ain't from back here. You ain't from around here. Them niggas is coming. And you think I'm going to stop them for you? I said, it's whatever. But I back to, but, huh? I hate your childhood. My childhood was fun. I hate that shit. I didn't fight nobody, man. I didn't fight you, like, we diffuse it. We diffuse it. Right? <laughs> once, <laughs> yo, you hear this nigga? Yo, yeah, once bro. I start swinging, the whole neighborhood go clear out. I go, fuck bro, I've you. seen that shit happen at a basketball game. Yeah, lived at the Anthony, Anthony Antra, they tell you that if they don't hear the nigga from Davis came out West Tiger playing the, uh, I think he was playing for Longside, and then and the nigga from another team swung on him, and they didn't realize that these two was related to everybody back in West Echo. When they sw they stole him. The boy stole him. He ain't like square up and hit him. Like, I think I think it was Trey had his back turned and he hit him. And when he hit him because his back was turned, the whole fucking, everybody at the park stood up. And these niggas was like, oh shit. They just thought they was, because they both were out of town teams playing at this neutral site. 
They just thought, you know, you're still on a guy with a neutral town. They try to kill this boy. They beat the whole, they beat, we beat the whole basketball team up. The boy that hit him, that was the fastest nigga I ever seen in my life. That nigga was out running cars. <laughs> and niggas on bikes. That's another thing, man. That's another day, man. That, that's what that's another thing about I, you know, I feel sorry for these kids that lied today. Back then you were getting the fights, and that was it. That was no more than a, mm-hmm. a fist fight. I'm a, I'm gonna tell you this. But now these niggas are shooting. When Kev becomes a grandfather and he's old and he's telling his kids these stories, these will be monumental stories because they're not going to know shit that he's talking about. We're going to be All like, right. yeah, we was listening to, we, was, we had the videotape. And they're like, videotape? What the hell is that? What's that? Kev going to have these cr- jumping kids and... Sexual like, exploitations. <laughs> that's what you want to tell his grandkids about? I ain't going to tell my grandkids about that. Gonna be old now. He's going to be drinking. <laughs> They've already <laughs> old as me now. Gab will tell you the same damn story at least 50 different times. And they say, no, no, no. I told you that story. I told you that story. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, yeah, that, but not but only have you told that, us this personally, you've told this on this podcast multiple times. I told that shit one time. Trey was here. <laughs> But um, that that's but that just leads me to think like now like like kids don't fight no more like yeah like I used to get in the I got into a lot of fights as a kid but you know you was it was just a fight it was no more than that you might you know what I mean it was nothing you got beat up you ain't have to worry about the kid coming to the park the next day with a gun and shooting the yeah. park up or you swing and this nigga pull a gun on you now I feel for these kids now because they can't experience that. It's yeah. like they can't get in an argument with a dude because a gun might get drawn. Um, it's yeah, it's the mentality today. Like you, like we was talking about earlier, how they could just say whatever they want. Yeah. Well, because gun culture in our music and in you know in social media is so big, that's what they think the next step is. You come to my house, I'm not gonna talk to you, I'm not gonna fight you, even I'm going to just shoot you and kill you and then I'll go to jail forever and that's where you know that's where they'll get raped they don't think that shit because you see these niggas nowadays taking these jail pictures they smiling oh they, they got this rapper and that rapper and that rapper locked that we sitting they all sitting there taking pictures smiling like nothing funny let me about get it. this straight let me get this straight you're happy that you in jail you're not about around a bunch of men instead of you can be out Still making millions of dollars, knocking off some of the baddest Instagram models because y'all ain't fucking no actors, y'all fucking Instagram models, but they still bad. You rather be, you rather be an all tan with a bunch of sweaty niggas. Yeah, well, apparently well, they don't think, but but it goes into the consequences. Having everything at your fingertips also means that you make life changing decisions like this, and you don't get the gravity of it until it's happening. Um, until until you have to deal with it, and until you deal with it for years, um, there was a. Um, I just recently watched a story about a girl who claimed to be suicidal, but you notice, know, you know, social media shit. She claimed to be suicidal, and she had a a boyfriend that she would threaten to run the car and like run the car off the road, like you know what I'm saying. Like that was a threat. That's the thing that she threatened with. Like I'll kill us both, motherfucker. Um, one day, one day she did it. She ran Let's the car that. into a I don't know, uh, but she ran a car into a brick wall. Somehow killed the boyfriend and the friend. Oh, I seen that. She did. She she just got sentenced. She um yeah yeah. How many years she got now? Like twenty. I don't know, but to to be able to kill other people and not yourself in a car is the craziest shit I've ever heard. And she didn't get the gravity of the situation. She in that fucking courtroom squirming and doing all this until they read out her sentencing. And then it was like, oh, shit. Yo, y'all for real? This ain't social media? This ain't a story? This this for real? I got to do that? That's yeah, what it she is. is. She's on social media talking shit, talking, talking reckless and crazy. I seen the story. It's just, they, it's cool. Social media, I love it. But it really gave voices to idiots. <laughs> I'm sorry. The way you said it and paused, you don't love it. Social media. I, 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 I like, like it. it. I love it to the point where I can, you know what I mean? I can see what my friends and them is. 
I, I like seeing the positive shit. I like seeing my family and friends doing good and doing good shit, posting shit to their kids. And, but all that other shit, like, it really gave... But the side I don't like of it, it just gave voices to idiots. It gave voices to people that you would just rather ignore. And that girl was one of them. Like, I'm pretty sure she was always on some me, me, me shit. But she grew up in an era where social media is like, well, nobody wants to pay attention to me. I'll just make it... I'll just keep putting posts... And you have no choice but to see it when you scroll down your timeline. It's in your face. And wow. she took that shit too far. And now that motherfucker is uh, she eating, putting out, she eating jello out of somebody's ass right now, probably. I mean, it, it fucking astounds me. Because it, it, it's that shit happens for everything that's, yeah, that nigga's crazy. <laughs> everything nowadays, especially when it comes to negative shit, like you were saying, uh, you can't fight nobody, a motherfucker, or well, Decide to shoot you, or you know, what I mean, those people drop their addies, like, come see me, I'm here, da da da. And then they'll videotape the whole shit, everything. Mm. So, you so you telling on yourself, or you telling on this person, and you just pretty much you just want to show people that you're trying to be active. The shit don't make no sense. Right when we were growing up, you know, what I mean, gangsters always moved in silence, they didn't want to get caught. They wanted to be able to do their dirt, still make their money, you know what I'm saying? Nobody know about the shit that they did. Now, these motherfuckers is broadcasting the shit that they do. Oh, oh, I'm going to shoot this motherfucker up. Or they really shooting you on live. Or, you know what I mean? The shit is fucking crazy. These kids can, ain't got no motherfucking sense. I can, I can actually, everything we're talking about on what a time to be alive, I can trace back to one thing. And when I trace it back to it, y'all gonna be like, yeah, you're right. But I could trace it back to one thing that's probably the root of it all. That one thing is a drug. Y'all wanna know what that drug is? Uh, attention. Attention. Yeah. The attention drug. Everything, because you can broadcast it, is done for attention. Whether it's, I'm gonna kill myself. Or, Look at these shoes I got for five hundred dollars, even though I live in a fucking, you know, live in a crack house or, you know, what I mean, or I'm gonna shoot this nigga when I see him. Everything is done for attention, because if you didn't have this, imagine how many people wouldn't be doing the shit that they're doing. I don't have to spin the block on this person because that exchange that we had was private. The nigga might have yeah. jumped you. If the nigga jumped you in private, only those two people know about that. Right. He might have saw you and said, fuck you looking at, nigga. Stole you. Y'all scuffled and fought. That's the end of it. But now, because somebody on the road, these ain't people that even know these kids, bro. These is niggas who see a fight about to happen and go. Yeah, turn the phone on. Now, millions of people know that you got your ass whipped by Troy around the block. I can't let that ride. I got to go kill this nigga because everybody know that I got my ass whipped. I can't take it. People making fun of me everywhere I go. It's crazy out here. These kids are soft. Yeah, they are. But think about it, man. Like, a fight was something you heard of. Yo, such and such, and such uh, just fought Tierra. Like, she beat her the fuck up. Her, yeah, she trashed her. It's like, damn, I wish. It's like, damn, I wish I was there to see this shit. And it should have just go away. And after a couple of months, it should have go away because you don't. Nobody's talking about it anymore. Uh, you know what I mean? Nobody really cares about it anymore. You move past that situation. Mm -hmm. Now, Tierra gets into a fight. Somebody got the video. It's archived. They yeah, they archived. They shared this person. They shared <laughs> archived. This person. It, come, it comes up in your memories. Oh, repost this video about Tierra getting oh. her ass whipped again. Like, you like, oh, Tierra. shit. I'm just saying that's the name I just picked. But I'm just saying, like, damn, Tierra, like, damn, she did get trashed. Now you can see him like, oh shit, you did get fucked up. She's like, nah, I won. Not what this video says. The video, look at this. Yeah. She stole you. She fucked you up. Like, you can like back then you had the like the the yo, I really didn't get beat up. Like this nigga stole me and I stumbled. And it's like everybody got the story. You're trying to find the truth. Now it was a video behind the story. It's like, yeah, you can't get away with what you was talking about. This should say something else. Let me ask y'all, with everything that's going on now, you think God should just put an end to everything? God? <laughs> or, if it's, the, it's or, getting... or if the aliens came, or if the aliens came, you think this would just be like, yo, they ain't worth yeah, saying. Yeah, oh. go ahead, do what y'all do. 
it, Y'all it's, might it's, as well. It's, it's, bro, it's just, they it's just going to videotape bad. them too. <laughs> Yo, from the video, yeah. <laughs> sit like this while they pull up. <laughs> That's crazy. They show all these space buddies. Oh, shit. Hey, camera went up. <laughs> ah, black screen. Oh, now it's about to be fucked up, period. Yeah, nah, but it used to it used to it used to be like it used to like it's cool. Like with all the technology and, and, and everything that's going on, it is a good time. It's more convenient in your life to be alive now. You can you ain't even gotta drive to McDonald's no more. You can pay an extra ten dollars and have a nigga drive it to your house and maybe dipping in your fries. You know what I'm saying? Drink, <laughs> You're a wild yeah. dude. What I'm saying, like it's cool, but it Video also has doing the shit. It has its drawbacks though. Like, like it has a drawback with the social media. It has a drawback with the 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 you know the protection you want of your kids as far as online gaming or or the internet or shit they can order off the internet, like. Man, you can listen. Niggas can get drugs off the internet. Like I, I was reading the case, a girl got, got ordered some pills, some fit, some pills that she thought was a certain type of pill, but had fentanyl in it and killed her. Ordered it off the internet. I mean, it's just crazy. It, I'm not gonna say nothing. Don't order your pills. Say? Don't order your pills off the internet. Nah, but you. But these is kids. They don't. Nine they times don't, out of ten, they're sending you fentanyl. Yeah, but they, they don't know. You're talking. You're talking to. You're talking to an 18 year old kid that can't get a perk. Yeah, can't yeah. find. Don't want. Don't want to go in the hood. Don't want to go in these neighborhoods that you got to go to or these houses. Your drug dealers is not nine times out of ten ain't ain't a respectable person or live in a respectable neighborhood. You gonna go? You might be in some shit in the situation. It's going to be probably guns around. It's you know, because they're nervous and they're paranoid people, so they're going to have guns. It might not be safe all the time. You don't know who going to run up in a spot and rob them, whatever. Why not have? Why not do a cash app transaction and have the shit dropped off on your doorstep with your name on it, and you just go grab it and pop it? I'm, not, I'm sorry. I'm dead you ass. Sound like you, you, you sound like you. It sounds like a a good salesman for that shit right there. I was, I was just <laughs> I'm not a salesman. Putting the subject on for drugs. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just saying, but that's that's that bro. People that's, sitting there thinking, like, you know what? You're right. That is a good idea. Niggas do that already. It's not. It's not. It's not the new. It's already. It's already done. I was watching. I was watching them on um, watching on my favorite, my one of my favorite podcasts, Rogan. Rogan had a guy on there who was talking about the fentanyl epidemic, and he was like, "Yeah, kids go on there. It's certain emojis. Kids type these emojis on on um on TikTok. They type these emojis in." They're they're Dylan knows the emojis name and what the kids want and they send it to their house, and these kids get it and they die and you know they don't know it's laced with fit no. You know what I said? A fit. I need to a, know. A, a, huh? Yeah, I know. A pen, the head of a pen can kill. Yeah, you. It can yeah it can kill a lot. Can, can I ask y'all? And maybe y'all don't know. Maybe y'all do know. What is the point of putting fentanyl in it? Is it a better high or is it a filler? Like it's I don't, more. It's I don't more. It's more addictive. Fentanyl. Fentanyl. Is more addictive than the actual drug is. It, it it makes you come back to it more. So they put the they cut it with the fentanyl because it keeps bringing them back. But you know, fentanyl is mixing a lot of shit. It's a lot. You know, they actually use it as a, for for uh, you know, for uh, Hulk Hogan was just talking about it. You know, he had a drug that had he was taking something for his legs that was prescribed that was from a doctor that had fentanyl in it. But they mix it the right way. They know how much doses to mix in a in a huge batch, so it doesn't kill you. But it does what it's supposed to do. But fentanyl is highly addictive, so they cut it with the fentanyl because it keeps making you come back for that same high for that same drug. So you're gonna keep going to that same person attacking it. Some people say that they think this uh, fentanyl is is uh, I don't know. I ain't gonna say that, but they they said. It's, Conspiracy theorists said because of the bomb of Hiroshima. Hiroshima. Yeah, that they're trying to get there. No, no, my bad. In China, when they brought over the um the opioids, they got the China, the Chinese people addicted real bad on opioids over there and shit like that. So they created fentanyl to get revenge on that, America. That sounds like ridiculous. That doesn't but that's just some that's just some conspiracy theorists. 
That's some conspiracy theory shit, but it's fentanyl real sh- Never mind. That's what they yeah, farm opium. Yeah, 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 yeah. But fentanyl is, is highly addictive. It's just it's very, very, very addictive. So they cut it with the shit. But that's what I'm saying. This is the era, this is the era, this is the time we live in now. Kids can type in emojis on Snapchat. The dealer knows the emoji is and they send you the pills. This is the real thing that's going on. I'm not telling you something that's not already happening. Yeah. This is facts. Um, so moral of the story is all y'all kids is in trouble. And when I'm like 80 something, I'll, I'll catch y'all niggas in heaven. Exactly. I'll be the fuck up out of here. Y'all be good. Y'all be all right. Y'all, y'all keep getting y'all porn offline and talking shit online and expressing your feelings online and getting your drugs online. Everything's in the fantasy world for y'all. Y'all don't live in reality. Oh, well, that's happening. That's 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 coming to where, where everybody will be living in, in a met, virtual in the reality. Met, then you can get all, yeah, then you can get all your shit off. So I say this because I got to, you know, wrap it up. If you the only way you can make this world better is try to be better yourself every day. Like we're going to start with you. Everybody starts with themselves. Then we can actually make this world better. Cause I can tell you after hearing all this shit and talking about all this shit, it's going to a bad place and it ain't going to stop. It ain't going to stop. So just try to do better yourself every day. And hopefully everybody else will do the same. Mm. Y'all trash. Start with yourself. I like that. Nah, good. I like you. I wanted you to get a nice little clip in. That's a good clip. Clip it up, baby. Sure. That's another, that's, another episode, that's another episode of Opinionated Podcast. Thank y'all for tuning in on another Sunday. We appreciate everybody that's been in here watching the live. Uh, we see y'all next Sunday. Peace. Thank you to that person that watched the live, yo. <laughs> you're, a val- you're a valued person. <laughs> Man, in the broadcast, dog. So I'm I'm gonna, gonna, oh, I, I thought you were doing it. <laughs> nah, I can't. I can't touch it. I'm good. Can't touch this. Can't oh, touch it. Right. <laughs>